Hello. You all right? Welcome along back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be starting a new series. Get in. Now, I can't lie, I've completely robbed the idea from someone else. That person's on the screen right now. I saw their video and thought, do you know what? That's a brilliant idea, and because they're not in the UK, it's not totally plagiarising, and it's going to be my style. So big shout out to that person. Go subscribe. Make sure you check their videos out. Very, very good stuff. The concept is simple. It's basically just spin the wheel, whatever it lands on, you go and find the animal. And I'm going to take as long as it takes to go and find the animal. So it's not going to be a case of, right, cool, go find it. And it only takes me one search. Like if it takes me 20 searches, 50 searches or whatever, that's how long it's going to be in the video. And that's how long the video is going to be. And I think that's a really good way of doing it. So very simply, I've got myself a spin wheel. And for this one, just to make it quick and easy, it's all the same animal. You could probably see what that animal is. It's a red kite, no surprises. So basically, you press spin, this does a spin, and then it's gonna land on something. Oh, oh mad, look, it's a red kite, and I'd go and find it. In a new video coming up soon, I'll be doing it properly, but for now, I'm gonna go find a red kite, so let's do it. Here we go, it's quarter to seven in the morning, and I'm just about to go pick Jacob up, and we're going off to try and film some red kites today. And I think I know a good spot. So, let's go get him. Here he is. Ready to find some red kites? Yes, bro. Right, we're here then. Um, so we're in we're in Marlow to try and find these red kites. We've seen a few actually on the way down, but um, well, that was on the motorway, so we can't actually film them very well. But we're in a place. I actually don't know the name of it. Um, but we're near a leisure centre anyway, and we've just spoken to someone, literally, coming out of the leisure centre, I've just thought, I'm just going to ask this person, I was like, do you get red kites around here? I said, yeah, I get loads, I feed them, how random, really nice girl by the way, really nice girl, she says, yeah, I feed them chicken and all that, isn't it? Just off her balcony as well. Just off her balcony, Terry, she's got a terrain slot over that way somewhere, she said, yeah, I feed them chicken off my terrace, I was like, cool, um, she said, yeah, you're in the right area you'll find them around here cool wicked so we're just gonna wait well what where you found one already he's found one cool Easy. there yeah. you go we're done go see, let's go home see, see you later so the basis of this series is to try and like film things that haven't filmed before things i might have seen before like red kites i've seen plenty before but never filmed them and there are some off in that distance two of them actually it's too far right now to try and get the camera out but yeah that's the basis spin the wheel find the animal very simple stuff and uh should be all right, you know. Right, mate. How's it going? Is it Baba? I won't be funny. This is quite a nice area. I feel like I'm in a posh area. Lots of swans about, but yeah, it's uh, it's nice. Now I don't know about you, but I would be quite happy with that. That's uh, that ain't what they're supposed to do. I can't lie. Very hey, good. No, I think that's meant to be above the water, isn't it? So we've just spotted some grebes out in the middle of the Thames there. Jacob's getting set up to uh, get some video and it should look quite nice. There's two of them. I swear to God, it swam so strong against the current. I don't know how it did it. Honestly, it was mad. It was like here, about five meters away from us and it's going against the current all the way over there in one breath. That's mad impressive. Red kite, straight, straight over there. What are you doing, lad? Huh? Shocking. Just I'm being blinded here. Missed it already. I can't believe it. Straight across the river. This guy's a fannying about trying to get his camera sorted. He's missed it. A few moments later. What happened there? Huh? Got away. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Shocking. That there, that's uh, Egyptian geese. Non native. Animal anomaly, not quite, but. Pretty cool to see though. We're not actually that far away from London, so parakeets around this area are quite common, but it's always a nice sight to see them, even though they are quite destructive to the UK country uh, and wildlife because um, they they sort of compete they out compete different native wildlife like the woodpecker which isn't a great thing like i love seeing these birds and i really like them but if they're out competing the woodpeckers and stuff I'm not overly keen on that but 
Um, it's cool to see these uh, as well as the red kites in the area as well but I know it's not what we're after although it is cool to see we are here for the red kites don't know if you guys can see but all the way over in the distance there there's a red kite in the tree if you can't see that you might see that here's the close-up footage Kick it off around here with the wildlife. The wildlife everywhere. Are we filming it though? <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but not as good as we should be. We're gonna move on now and try and get closer to some red kites. We can hear them whistling around there, it's really cool. So hopefully get a bit closer, get some better footage and looks all good. So here we've got a grebe in the water. I recorded it, not Jacob. Uh, he's actually recording it up the river though. I can see him finally getting some Grieve action, look at him. <laughs> and a dive, love that, thank you. All right, what we've got here then, we've got parakeets uh, doing the nasty. So the one that's got the ring around its neck, that's the male. <laughs> and then the one, who, uh, the one who's on bottom, sort of, yeah, having a great time, I suppose. I don't know, uh, that's the female. This is the first time I've ever seen this, which I'm, I'm actually quite excited to see. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's parakeets mating for you. And uh, big lad's having a great time, I think. Go on, son. Man's putting in an absolute shift. Look at him go. He's got to keep balance as well while he does this as well, you know. Like, this is this is hard work. He's... <laughs> Lovely. Look at that. What a beautiful bird. Try and get closer for you guys. Yeah, so stunning, flying off into the distance. Another red kite, mid-flight, look at him, beautiful. Here are those Egyptian geese that Jacob couldn't film earlier, uh, looking good. They're currently sat on top of a church, making a lot of noise. Oh look, a fight. <laughs> look at this guy, look at him, he's claiming himself as the winner. Go on son, look at you big beefy boy. But yeah, here we go, this is where they are, currently just sat on top of this making all that racket and he's off cool but yeah nice looking things been trying to find this for absolutely ages a munt jack not the hardest things to find but to record jesus christ not easy at all we've got one in the field running away really cute little things I tell you what, this video has been absolutely crazy. There's just wildlife everywhere. I've, I was not expecting this at all. We came here because I've heard of lots of red kites in the area. We've seen lots of red kites. And we've seen way more than we've been able to film. Jacob's got quite a lot of photos that look pretty good. Got a bit of footage, but it's just, it's absolute madness. We've just seen a muntjac over there. We've seen a kingfisher, egret, uh, parakeets galore, uh, woodpecker as well. We couldn't film. There's been all sorts, hasn't there? It's been absolutely mad round here. Like, I didn't expect it at all. It's been absolutely crazy, but we're still trying to get some better red kite footage. And I want to get myself a photo as well, because he's got all the pictures so far. I want to get myself one as well. I've only got the video, so. We're gonna carry on, let's try and get some. But mate, this is, smash a like, it's been mad, it's crazy. But our plan now is to go to the shop, get some chicken and uh, try and lure them in. See if we can get them dead close. So maybe even close enough that they'll come to a GoPro if we put them down on the floor or something. That's the game plan. We haven't got a lot of time though. We've got about half an hour left. We gotta get him back because he's got a driving lesson. Yeah. Idiot. Chicken and bacon sandwich, chicken breast slices. What do you reckon, mate? Should work. Should work. We'll see. Yes. Fingers crossed, anyway. Come on, there's a red kite. There's a red kite right above us. Come on, man. He's checking it out. 100% checking it out. 
He's circling around again. Come on. Come on, take the sandwich. <laughs> take the sandwich, please. Okay, that's not what we wanted, but uh, it's pretty cool to see the bait worked. <laughs> Just not for the right thing. Look at that. Red kite in the tree. Looking absolutely stunning. What a fantastic bird. Looks wicked. Doesn't want to take our bait though, unfortunately. Not just yet anyway. Although he's dive bombed some kids with a, a Domino's pizza. We've even added some of that Domino's pizza to our mix, but he's still not interested. I think he's more interested in the big slices that these kids have got uh, just below the tree. Look at him though. Oh my word. Another one that we didn't want. He's just come and taken a chicken wing from those kids that had the pizza. Right, he's gone and sat in a tree. We've actually run out of time now. We need to go, unfortunately. But here's a great shot of him looking at the area. Didn't want to take our sandwich and chicken though, so that's very annoying. He just wants the kids' pizzas. <laughs> but it is what it is. We're gonna get back to uh, Leamington because driving lesson boy over here just ruins the day, huh? Look at him, day ruiner. That red kite's in the tree, looking really cool though. Um, but yeah, we got some good footage of it. Unfortunately, it, it didn't take the bait in the end. He just wants those kids. There's like kids over there. They've got pizza and he wants that. He keeps scaring them, he keeps dive bombing them. But ah. anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of fun stuff. And uh, see you again for the, a new one. Nice one.